It doesn't work. Why is it open? It does not work. Hello and welcome to another video. My name's Axel. I'm Sean. And today we are here at Alton Towers for all things Nemesis Subterra. We've never been on it yet, so hopefully we can get on it today and obviously everything else. Um, we're expecting it to be quite quiet today, so let's get on as many rides as we can. Day on a beautiful sunny day. We've arrived a bit later than we normally would. It's 10:35 a.m., so we're heading straight towards Wickerman. Apparently, it's a 25-minute queue, so let's get straight in there. So we're on our way to Nemesis Subterra. Last time we didn't get on because it broke down more times than I have. <laughs> no, it broke down loads. Um, so we're going there now and hopefully we'll get on this time. And the queue is advertised as only 15 minutes, which is the shortest queue on the park today. It's extra busy for some reason. I have no idea right why all of the rides are queues of like 60 minutes and stuff like that. It's absolutely ridiculous. But we did get through Wicker Man pretty quickly. The operations ran really smooth and it only took us about 25 minutes to half an hour to actually get on the train. And that's what it was advertised at. So if operations are running smoothly and they managed to get a few more rides open because there's a few closed, I'm hoping that it just sort of spreads out around the park and we get a few it just becomes a bit quicker, a bit smoother, and we're able to get on everything that we want to a few times. Anything to add, Axel? No, Wicker Man was absolutely great. Yeah? I just don't understand why all the queues are over an hour. Uh, and the sun's out. Two things I hate, queues and the sun. So it's Axel's in a really a positive day. mood today. And that's exactly what we want to bring to you, the viewers. Our positivity and enthusiasm for theme parks. Nemesis Subterra, last time I was here it had uh, just a 2D sign on opening day but that sign I must say looks much better. It did advertise 15 minute queue um, but as we've arrived to it it's 45 minutes. It's saying I don't have a clue what is going on uh, today with these queue times. We will divulge more into that when we come off of Nemesis Subterra but I guess it's time to start queuing our life away uh, to experience this attraction just to give you a bit more information as well last time we was there it was opening day and we didn't get a chance to ride it because every time we did get in the queue it broken down and by nearly the end of the day we'd give up with it we absolutely give up so hopefully we get to go on it today and we have a good run through because i've been hearing some mixed reviews time nemesis is experiencing a temporary delay and has ceased operation at present we are unsure how long this delay may take but are striving to keep the delay to a minimum once again, Nemesis Subterra is experiencing a temporary delay and a ceased operation. We thank you all for your patience. Nemesis sub -par. Nemesis awful. sub terrible. Yeah, it's, it's awful. <laughs> Doesn't ever. I've never been on it. I will never get to go on it. We will every time never. In the queue, it says we're sorry. It's experiencing temporary delays. It's like what? What is that part of the experience? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that ride? What is wrong with it? Every single time we're in the queue, it breaks down. We was literally only in the queue for three minutes. Yep. Three minutes. It, it doesn't down. work. Why is it open? It does not work. Still got the pin badge. For what, mate? I want a <laughs> refund. I want a <laughs> refund. All right, then. The blade it is. I think this will be a better ride than Nemesis Subterra anyway. Probably. Probably. Definitely. Looks like we're... Uh, Straight on to the next one. Fantastic.
Where'd you go? The blade. It's, it's basically uh, just a pirate ship, but a very tame pirate ship. Yeah. Gave you a little jolt in the summer. Yeah. Like, it only got to full tilt like once or twice. Once. Literally. And then that was it. Very short cycle. Yep. Here's what it was. It was, uh, was. was alright. I'm glad I've done it on. once this year. It was a walk on, so it was, it was worth it. I wouldn't yeah. keep it for longer than five minutes. That said, we've just checked the uh, app. Nemesis Subterra is still down. It's closed. It it's dead. Good for nothing, that ride. Absolute good for Worst nothing. Ride on park. It is. It shouldn't even be open. It is clearly too old, too outdated, and doesn't work. Rubbish. It doesn't work. I don't think they installed anything new in there in terms of ride system, otherwise it would... I didn't realise it was an... Is it an old ride? Yeah, it was open years ago. Ten years ago. And then they just closed it. Why? Because of how terrible it is. This is Most not... probably. And now, it still doesn't work. Of course it doesn't. How can you build hype for a ride when the thing that you're building hype with doesn't work? What is it? A drop tower? Yeah, apparently so. Apparently so, with a story and a theme. Well, it's more about the experience, isn't it? Go Blackpool Dungeons, you get a better experience. It's all about the experience. Yeah. Exactly. Thank there you. you. Go. Good, for, good for you, mate. On to the next thing. And it looks like we're going to be going towards the runaway mine train because everything else is just full of people. Runaway mine train. 15 minutes. I enjoy the ride. Choo -choo. We love the runaway mine train, don't we? Choo choo. And it's a two lap special. Absolutely love it. Banking to the today. max core. Yeah. Banking very, to the max. It's very slow at the front though, honestly. It's just the rest of the train still being dragged around. I looked behind me and the train was on a different like section completely. Yeah, it's, it's a so long train. It's got like 20 compartments or something. Oh, I was on an that. actual train today, that's what it felt like. Yeah, and that so nemesis sub terror. I swear down, I'm going to give it one more chance later on. It still says closed. We'll give it one more chance later on. And if it doesn't open, I will vow to never do that ride ever. What's the point? It's a waste of my life. Congo River Rapids it is. 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. Poncho's in the queue for the River Rapids, Sean. Absolute gaslighting at its best. She don't get wet. <laughs> it's that busy that they actually made us share a boat with two other people. Yeah, I've never had that, that before. Yeah, I've like never it. had that before. It's always been a boat to ourselves, but we had to share it with two other people. Which... Made it better, to be honest. Yeah. We actually got wet for once. Yeah. We actually got wet. Oh, most people did, bar one. Yeah. Didn't we? Me, uh -huh. you, one other person. Oh, yeah, the guy got wet as well. Oh, really? So we all got wet. And yeah, yeah. Quite a few people coming off the ride wet today, which is very rare for the Congo River Rapids. And it was, um, what was I trying to say? And it wasn't a long queue, and it was uh, spinning a lot more as well. I think oh, yeah. it's to do with the weight, to be honest. Maybe. Because we don't normally spread ourselves out properly either, and we're not exactly heavy, so, yeah. you know, having two extra adults in there just makes it go for <laughs> Yeah, it was probably the best ride I've ever had on it, and considering I had to share the walk with people, which usually would make me quite uncomfortable, I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, they were nice. Now it's time for Marauders Mayhem. Let's go. The Marauding Mayhem. Did you love it? We spun it so fast, didn't we? Yeah. Made me feel a bit sick, I'm not gonna lie, but not as sick as uh, 
and a flat ride from a carnival, so that's something. I'm definitely not as flat as, as sick as Space Jam made me feel the last time I was here. Yeah. That made me feel sick. I absolutely love this area though. Yeah. So well themed. It is to be honest. More of the park should be this this well themed to be honest. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? Just, uh, you know, Nathan made me realise it's a bit better than I made yeah. the, I take it for granted a little bit. But yeah. it's just because I've been in America and I've been to places like Bush Gardens, which just blow this place out of the water. You know what True. I mean? Sean's checking what time Spinball's going to open. He's telling him anytime soon. We're just testing it at the moment. But Rita's closed. Spinball's closed. <laughs> Nemesis Subterra is still closed. That one should close for good, that. there's no point in it ever reopening. And uh, queues are still 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 60 minutes. Smile is 75 minutes. It's uh, absolute madness, this. What did he say? He says he can't give a time scale. It's I good. say we wait here five minutes, look for us that'll happen. Spinball Wizard reopening. Never seen that sign. We're the first ones on. After those and those. Yes. So we've just done the Super Spin Ball Wizard twice. It was on the first actually. Uh, the first carriage, weren't we, Sean? Yeah, it reopened. Then we, we, we just ran straight round and got straight back on. We were the crash test dummies. Spin Ball Wizard, only one thing to say about that. We've said everything that we wanted to say about it before. And it's just ouch, yeah? So obviously once the ride finishes, and you're in that last brake run and the, the carriage has to turn back around to get in place. It smashes right into the side and there's no give on it whatsoever. It is absolutely brutal at the end. Yeah, it just hurts. You've got to brace yourself for it. And if you're not expecting it, it is bad. Yeah. That said, on to Nemesis Subterra. And this is its last chance. Let's see if we get on. Okay, here we are back again. Round two today and attempt number five in total. Will we ever get on Nemesis Subterra? This could be it. The screens didn't last long, I see. Yeah, we've never been past this point of the queue. Let's hope. As I was saying, the screens haven't uh, lasted long enough, but it's audio now. All right then, so we better do our review as soon as we've just come off that. What was that? First of all, I'll start, by, I'll start with the positives, and that was uh, the theming in there was, was good. Yeah. Um, the egg and it cracking open, and then obviously you drop and you drop into a room where there's loads of eggs. Yeah. And yeah, great theming. Um, was it worth the queue? No, wasn't no, worth no, the queue. No, it was not worth the queue. Was if drop the queue is, if the, no? If it was, if it was, if the queue is longer than twenty minutes, do not waste your time. And literally, I, I mean that. Like it is, it is a waste of time. I would have much rather queued to go on Galactic, uh, any other ride. I'd go on the uh, what's it called, Runaway Mine Train again before I went on that. Yeah. Shocking. So it, and it hurt. Yeah. So you get in there, you're waiting for five minutes for, for a, a video for to a start. video to start. What was you saying? Well, it feels like they've got your mum controlling the DVD it feels, Yeah, player. it felt like my mum was... <laughs> felt like my mum was trying to figure out how to press play on the DVD player. So that that's comes what, That's on. what it felt like I was waiting for. That's how long it took. Serious. You were waiting in there for five minutes. And then they, you, they take you into like a little room with an elevator so you go down underground. Which is a waste of time. Oh, no, Don't need that. Just, that just, just come out of that room. Yeah, it's part of the story, isn't it? That's telling the story. Didn't, saying you're going down it, into didn't the research facility. Well. Didn't tell it very well. You go through a corridor. Waste of time in my opinion. You go through a corridor which is well lit to be honest. It's good theming, it's just cave theming. Um, yeah. You go into the room where the egg is and you all yeah. take your seats into yeah. the drop towers. Yeah. 
who was literally the ride operators had to sit on the bar. On the, the bar ride. isn't an individual bar, so you haven't got your own bar. It's like a group bar. So let's say you can fit like 12 people on each row. I think it's they had, they, wide, no, 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 yeah. but they let in like, they only let in like eight for each row because the ride's very restrictive and they have to be able to move people around. So they can only let like eight people on each row. So they can let on like what, like maybe maybe 28 people at a time, I would right. say, something right. like that. And um, they were literally sitting, sitting on the on bar the to get it secure. One man was pushing down on it, the other guy was sitting, sitting on, on it. it. Oh, it was, it was so painful to watch. And then after that had happened, it was it was just terrible. Yeah, they have it some did. smoke effects. Yeah. You know, uh, it Dropped. drops and you drop into the lair yeah. of all the something the jabs eggs. you in the back. Something yeah, pain. Like something. in the kidney. Like literally. Like literally, I was it's like, hard. Oh. it wasn't yeah. even like a little like you know like on on like some of those like dark rides that like what, yeah where it just does London like, dungeons yeah, and they yeah, have like yeah. someone tickling the back of your neck or something. It wasn't that. Someone's gone like that into my kidney. Hard. And it felt yeah, like, it felt like, like hard. bullying, literally. Yeah, like bullying. <laughs> <laughs> and then you had people like, or, or something whipping your legs. Whipping it. Luckily, like, I haven't I got shorts on, but I uh, heard the pain from you. I was like, I was like, ah. It was killing me, honestly. It was, it was Obviously, there was some wind effects, smoke effects, but... But I was just more worried about getting pain. whipped. Yeah, and I felt like pain. they could have done another drop, because there was yeah, one yeah, drop, yeah. and then they raise you back up and whip your legs, and it's like, well, yeah. drop me again, because I'm expecting to have a drop, and it would have been nice one. if you did drop into, like, another room. Yeah. Uh, a monster was there or something. Yeah, but it's a 20-foot drop. It's rubbish. Yeah. I wouldn't waste my time on it. If it's not a walk-on, go on something else, because yeah. it is not worth it. It is terrible. Terrible. It's Just to well finish themed. off, it comes back up. Everyone, a guy comes in, get off, get off, everyone, you need to go yeah. now. The monster's here. So you all start getting out of this thing. You go into a lift. Um, it's not very scary. To lift you back up and it all goes dark, it starts shaking as if the lift's going to break down. Yeah. You come out of that and walk through a corridor to which there's one actor saying a monster's here or something. Get up, and then, go, uh, go, go. And then you exit But you've got to walk calmly, you can't run. And you exit it. And, yeah. and then I, you get your bags. I give it a one out of five. And that one is only for the good theming. Everything else is absolutely terrible. And that's not because it's Generous. we've waited so long to no, get on it and it's it. broken no, that, down. That, that does play into it. it. <laughs> it's so bad. It operated. is the most unreliable ride <laughs> ever, ever. Yeah. Uh, it's but, terrible. but it's terrible anyway. It's, terrible. it's not worth a 45 minute queue. Does it add to the story of Nemesis? No. Yeah, I think it does. I think it's good you're, at, you're at adding to the story, but the ride itself, it's just bad, man. It's just bad. It's pain. They That's play you what a video pain. when you're sat in a ride queue for an hour watching the same video. Like, they could have played the video over and over again and then just cut that first bit out. So get into lines, go through the doors. Because yeah. you're in that queue for long enough to absorb anything they're showing you. There's screens everywhere. It's a waste of time. It's just so tedious, that ride. Yeah. That's the word I'd use to describe, it, actually. Tedious. We've walked a curse, and albeit it's not, not that far of a walk, but somehow we're still finding ourselves complaining to each other how bad of a ride uh, or experience it is. I've decided it's the worst ride I've ever been on. Yes. Ever. Ever. It's the worst ride I've ever been on. I it's... can't think of a ride that I've not enjoyed more than that one. Yeah. Because I, I literally can't. I would agree. I will agree that the feeling is pretty decent. And it has the potential to be a lot better than it is. But it's just a terrible ride. The drop tower's short. It's all of the effects that they use to make it scary and painful. There's a complete distinct lack of scare actors that are trying to scare you. They shouldn't call them scare, they're guides that you don't need because there's only one direction to go. Yeah. It is bad, overall bad, and I'll never go on it again. It took um, me so long to try and get on it. I've never been on it in the past, and I know it's a, it, they've brought it back to life or whatever the ride. Yeah. I've never been on it in the past in 2012 till it closed in 2015. This is the first time going on it after trying to go on it so many times and I'll never go on it again. No. Just because it's painful, it's tedious and it's just overall it's bad. Terrible. It's terrible. terrible. It's terrible. Nemesis, it's nemesis sub terrible. terrible. That's what it is. Oh, we've got 
You just can't go wrong with it. It's absolutely fantastic. And it was probably one of the best run throughs we've ever had. Not yep. to say that anything's ever gone wrong before, but everything was hey. on point the way it's supposed to be. You in the vlog? Hello. Hey! Everything on Curse was exactly how it was supposed to be. What did you think about it? Loved it. I love Curse. It's nice. It's always empty the queue and it's just worth it. It was a really good run for it. Something that I would like to mention though is Curse actually is doing more merch. Yeah. Fantastic. They do pin badges. Thank you very much. You've listened to me. I know you're watching, uh, which I did purchase. So thank you for that. Uh, they've got more cups. They've got more t-shirts. They've, the, they've got keys to the house that you can buy. They've got statues of the keys as well. They've got medals. So they're doing more which is a step in the right direction yeah. so thank you for listening so we've decided to go to the little shop that's outside of the uh, curse of Old manor because we've heard great things about the milkshakes and ice creams so what ice cream have you got there sean uh, what is it again i can't remember it was the grim reaper the grim reaper that's it which is black vanilla ice cream with strawberry sauce and a few um, skulls and brains on it. How does it taste? Delicious. I've gone for the Harley Quinn hat, um, but they didn't have any strawberry ice cream on there, so I've gone for the black vanilla. It comes with cotton candy and this wonderful multicolored cone. I'm going to dig in. It looks absolutely delicious. I literally just went to grab it and realised it's upside down and it's got loads of... Um, sauce all over the cone so looks like I'm just gonna have to bite it and eat it with a spoon. It looks like ice cream can too. <laughs> <laughs> five out of five for that. Absolutely love it. We're going to oh, we're going smaller man, oh look at my kind smiler. <laughs> I have to say one of the best things about writing an arsenal shirt to a theme park the amount of positive interactions you get. Just, just saw a fellow Gooner and he just said to me, what do you think of Tottenham? And I knew exactly what the answer was. Where are we at? So we're in the single rider queue for the smile because the normal queue is 50 minutes and we saw it was going to be a bit quicker so it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're doing these ways. How are you feeling, Axel? It's terrible. Why? Because it's been 45 minutes. Single rider queue. We've still got about 10 people longer in front of us. What? It's longer than the normal queue. So, what advice would you give to someone? Just don't do the single riders, it's a waste of time. Isn't it? Absolute waste of time. Been in this for 40 minutes, the queue time was 55. We'll be in it for another 10. I think we would have got on it by now. We just got in the normal queue. It's the most painful queue I've ever been in because it just doesn't move. No. Like if it's 50 minutes and at least it's moving, that's okay, but because it's just still. So we've just come off Slala, we had a single rider experience. Axel, how was it being single for you? Absolutely terrible. But I do have to say, we queued for 50 odd minutes, which felt like a lot. And it is a lot for single riders to sit next to a stranger, it is. But I heard the girl behind me saying that she heard people saying that the queue was actually 90 minutes when advertised at 50. Which I can't believe, which, which doesn't surprise me, let's put it that way. And then the, the person I was sat next to said, this better be worth it. We've been waiting an hour and a half. That's all. So, we waited. Really? Yeah. 
Wait an hour and a half. So yeah, so it's confirmed. We actually did save time. And I'll tell you what, if there was sitting on the back crawl, then it was definitely not worth it. Where was you sitting? Uh, back. Back row? Yeah. I was on the back row. My God, I've never come off smaller and got a headache. It's yeah, give me a headache. Him. The rattle on that, it was just going around yeah. the track like that. It oh was my mental. God. That was the roughest ride that I've ever had on Smiler. It's the rain to give me a headache. So oh yeah, we've come God. off now, expected thunderstorms. So where are we gonna go Axel? 13. 13, off we go then. I'm from the loud and rowdy X sector down to the spooky and eerie dark forest. I rain. must admit, it's much more my vibe, dark forest. All right, down to 13 at an advertised five minute queue. At half past four. Oh man, it's been a long day. Think of it. Always fun. Love oh, 13. And no cue whatsoever. Absolutely. Fan bloody tastic. Yeah, that's what you need. So we're gonna try and get on one more ride now. What do you reckon? Oblivion or Rita? Galactica. Galactica? So on the other other side of the park. Might not make it. It's a 20 minute walk from here. What time is it? 22. 22. Yeah. And he wants to risk it for Galactica. Alright then, whatever, what do you want? Or would you just, uh... I don't know. You've got a wicker man again. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Would you rather do that than any other ride? Why not? Why not? <laughs> so, Axel. Another day of fun and thrills. Our it's all go, go, go until it stops. So, it's always stopped. you had a good day? Yeah, it's been alright to be honest. Yeah, it's got uh, a lot of stuff, haven't we? It's been a weird order of events that we've done things today. And yeah. we had to do that because of the Our capacity in the yeah. queue. Yeah, uh, the, pass the capacity in the park. Yeah. I'm delirious. It's too hot. Yeah. But, but the more I come to Alton Towers, uh, the more I miss Blackpool, I need to get back to Blackpool. Yeah, we should have done Blackpool. That's nothing bad really. on Alton Towers. No, it's just been a lot this purely, year. purely, I have neglected Blackpool this year. Yeah. Um, and it, mainly because we've got Merlin Pass. That like said, though, it's been a great day. My highlight of the day. Uh, probably the mine train. I really enjoyed the mine train today. Really? And then no. doing Wicker Man twice. Yeah. And that ice cream at Curse was delicious. How about yourself? Oh, I don't know. I liked it all, to be honest. Uh, my favourite one was probably not Nemesis Sub Terror, that's for sure. That was the low light of my day. But yeah, it's been a good day. Uh, thanks oh, for watching shit. another one of our vlogs. Um, if you enjoyed it, remember to like, share and subscribe our content to our content. And uh, yeah, anything else to add? Nope, we're probably not going to be back at Alton Towers for a while now. No. Maybe we'll check out the Oktoberfest later on. Yeah, Maybe definitely. we'll check out Scarefest. But apart from that, there's nothing really left to do. Yeah, there's nothing bringing us back. Uh, now we've done Subterra. Right. That said, probably see you in Blackpool next time. See you in Blackpool.